on this channel we only give you updates that concerns chelsea and chelsea alone all right guys good morning to all of you all let me say good afternoon or good evening but over here in Aquaibon, uyo uh, i will say good morning, good morning yeah. yeah i beg i greet for you ah. i quite born but nevertheless we are not still off from what brought us here which is, is super egos yeah. because today is the d-day today is the day we are going to be playing libya. libya so very soon the next video you might be seeing on obvious tv mm -hmm. is us giving you premium content that com that is coming out from god's way aquabio stadium yeah. this evening you understand? Yeah. So, um, first of all, I want to talk about what happened yesterday. Our boys playing yesterday for their various country. First of all, talking, let's talk about Kupama. Kupama's score rating yesterday was seven ahead of Foden and Saka. Mm. Well, the rating speaks for himself, and mm. but it's just that um, we are not opportunity to really look into that game. Mm. But if I could catch a glimpse. Of mm -hmm. one of the things I saw some misses for Pama eh? mm -hmm. <laughs> yesterday. No worry, like, even then go miss. As far as go, as far as go, can't score. Can't no, score. No, no issue. So I mean, it's nice that uh, Kopama has broken into the England first team yeah. and he's already doing well from the. Races. Has he has he really broken into the England first team? Of course, for him to start the game. Mm. To start the game ahead of you know players players are coming back now into this England team. Yeah, there are players that are very competitive. You can mm. see Jagrilish is. You know, trying mm. to force his way back into the England team. Mm. Foden is still there, Saka is there. A lot mm. of competition. Yeah. And for Palmer to break inside the England uh, first team, of course, mm. him being the England player of the year, the mm. English player of the year, you know, he deserves to be in the first team, obviously. Yeah. So um, I'm, I'm just happy that he's part of the first team now. And he did very well in that game. And again, and again, apart from, uh, let me just take off this side. Mm. There is this argument going online about Kopama deserving the England <laughs> award. And a lot of people have been talking. I want to say something about this England award. You know that when they say England award, they, they, some people think it's because of his performance only in the Euros. Yeah. That is why they gave him the... If he had to talk about that performance in Euros, on a normal ground, they will not even look towards... Palmer's oh, yeah. direction. Mm. But I feel that when they say England entirely, both club performance is also... Part in, of it, right? Yes, it's part of that. This that uh, ranking in terms of giving him that award. So, I, I, I don't know. Anybody can come up on the comment section and, and hit on it if I'm wrong. But I'm just saying what I feel that I, I know a little. Yeah. That I feel that it's because of the club performance to... Uh, and also the opinion. performance in the Euros. <laughs> if I put my should I put out my opinion? <laughs> 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 Most people will not agree with my opinion, but you know, it's fact. It's fact. Because if you are if you are like you said, if you're looking at club football achievements, you know, you should, you should look at Bellingham. You should give credit to Bellingham. At least he won the Champions League, he won the La Liga. You understand? So I'm just being fair, you know. We Indeed. just have to say the truth the way it is. Okay, Billion we won this one. They are talking about individual brilliance. Well, I, he still has. I think Bellingham also produced some kind of individual. But that aside, I'm happy that Kopama won it, but it should be by merit. He, he merited his whether. It should be by merit. He merited, and we want to come. Uh, okay, going for that, um, we have our boy Kowiu yesterday oh, after a lackadaisical. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, like a classical uh, mistake mm. from Pickford. Oh, that guy. From Pickford. Yeah. Guy, Kobe, that Kobe defending mm. remind us all, we Chelsea fans, oh. of Thiago Silva against Juventus. I guess it was against Juventus. Yeah. Thiago made that kind of clearance. Mm. That stretch was something else. Well, if I call you, I, I am, it's one of the most. Is the is the is the player that I'm most impressed with in this international break, mm. and even coming into the Chelsea squad. You know, when we are watching football, sometimes we neglect the, our defenders. Yeah. What's what they are doing and the kind of football they are giving us. Yeah. And if you if you are watching Kobe, if you're watching Kobe this season, you can see that the improvement is there. Mm. He has improved a lot. Exactly. Stability is there. Composure is there. Progressive passes is there. And now he has added flair into his defending. Look at. 
Somebody said, but that she would have washed the bus through inside the net. <laughs> if I slow down, if, <laughs> if I, I slow down. If I just wash like this, if I just slow down, if I just slow down. So, it was, it was very nice to see you uh, mm. Kobe make, made that um, mm. save. I was calling it a save. Exactly. Even if he didn't use his hands. But it was a nice save. And I'm really, really impressed. And big things are coming up for him. Yeah, yeah. Because this, this, this is in starting of this season so far, so far. Tends to have that composure and steez, mm, you know, steez that's inside the defense. Then, secondly, and uh, thirdly, in terms of Chelsea players, talking about Christopher Nkunku. Nkunku, the hot now. Oh, uh, I'm the hot boy now. <laughs> Nkunku, the hot now. Nah. Make hot, I know, like, give you Nkunku, they on the hot uh, <laughs> uh, Well, you know, injuries actually disturbed that guy last, last season. Yes. And it made him not to bring out his best. Mm. But with uh, what we are seeing now, there's, there's a lot I still want to see from Christopher Nkunku anyways because I know what I saw from Leipzig. Mm. He was playing for Leipzig. Exactly. But just like he said, he's trying to find the rhythm, his body rhythm. Mm. He's trying to understand his body now. You mm. know, for somebody that's been out for a long time at yeah. injury, when you come back, you need to understand your body, study your body. Exactly. So you don't overwork yourself, you don't overstress yourself. And one special thing about Nkunku that I like so much is that on in tight spaces, He's Guy, good. do you understand? He can score from tight spaces. That is what happened yesterday. He doesn't really need too much space. He can score. He can, a, a goal can be produced out of nothing from Nkunku. Exactly. If that you, that that area that you say, ah, I don't think the, uh, nothing will come out from. It, if, it, if, 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 if that's what I'm saying, watch the goal he scored against Liverpool. The four one, that goal that Liverpool, uh, that match Liverpool won was four one. The goal that Chelsea scored, it was asked from a tight space, from a tight corner. The Bonamont game, same thing. And even the yesterday, French, the France, yeah, France game yesterday, self from tight corners. No, so it's yeah, very yeah. impressive. Very impressive performance yesterday. They, they all did well mm. yesterday. I was very happy for that performance. Then coming to the Chelsea, Chelsea, we are hearing that is James is training and there's a possibility of him playing against Liverpool. But we know that there's a possibility of him not playing against Liverpool. Uh, okay, the, the percentage of him not playing is, is higher than him they playing. Play, exactly. Because, you know, uh, for me, I would say it's too soon. Although, we don't they, we don't they tire, we don't they cry, may James come back, mm. James come back. Yeah, exactly. So, I'll just say, um, since next week, from Monday to you, let's just say Saturday, Saturday because mm. we play Liverpool on Sunday. Mm. Monday to Saturday, he has enough time to, you know, be fit, mm. with match fitness and training and all of that. Mm. And he can come in during the second half, depending on how the tempo of the game against Liverpool. When, of course, when we come back, we're going to do a proper uh, preview mm. for the Liverpool game. Sure. But depending on how the tempo of the game goes in, I, I think probably James can come in in the second half for Gusto, definitely. And I pray that if he's coming back now, he should come back for good. He should, he should not even fight for the rest of his career. Nothing like injury again, because uh. like, everybody will be tired. That's one thing about we human beings. We can get tired of... By the time we are now used to one particular thing about situation about you, injury, 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 injury. Yeah, yeah. And your market value it will, it will drop the more. So exactly. I just hope it stays injury free this time around. All right, then coming going to the female side, congratulations to the female coach, Sonia Bompastor, winning coach of the month. That was a very good one. And he deserve she deserved it. Of course, Chelsea women, uh, those yes. guys, they are the Real Madrid of, or should I say, they are the Real Madrid, because Real Madrid is the best team in the world right now. They are the Real Madrid of the Chelsea, uh, the, of the, the men the, team. <laughs> of the women team, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, she deserves it. You know, Chelsea mm. women are doing well. They are doing even, very well. Even as Sam K, it's not even... That Sam, active like not that. Not active right now, because of, I think it's injury. I think she's... She, she, uh, she's back. She's back, she's, right? She's back, yes. So, but the Chelsea women are, are doing well right now. Mm. And, you know, they are making us proud. Yeah. Even though the boys, sometimes they, they do one kind of thing. But, mm. like, but this is in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> this is in... This is in. Yeah, this is in where they get hope. But. Then, um, lastly, this talk about Kopama winning player of the month. Please, I don't think that information is confirmed. Yeah. It's when, not when, it's, really, confirmed, when we'll, it's confirmed, we'll come out here mm. and tell you guys that it's confirmed. They say there's a possibility that mm. he might win the player of the month yeah. with the information we had. You understand? Mm. So, but if you win at win deserve him. Yeah. Just, just the, just the pack award anyhow. Yeah, he deserve him. Last month, last two months, he won uh, mm. go of the month. Mm. Coming this month, he's going to win and uh, coming in the month of September, winning a uh, month uh, player of the month. Mm. I won't be surprised if they carry Ballon the or give her. <laughs> My one is that she first of all win this this uh, Premier League player of the year first. 
Yeah, yeah. She's going to PFA Player of the Year. And you can build from there. All right, now, I guess that'll be all for now. Then we move over to Super Eagles today. Thank you very much. My name is Peters. And my name is Big Dave.